For once, I'm not actually filming at night, so... Got the window open, using some natural light. It's just an excuse for me to not set up any lights. What's good everyone on YouTube? It's me again, back with another video. And don't mind the weird spot. I think there's something wrong with my camera. There's something in the lens. I've tried to clean it off, but it doesn't come off. Anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, again, we are talking about another Nike shoe. And this was an interesting Nike collaboration that came out between Nike and Matthew M. Williams. Now, I'm not gonna pretend I know much about him. I don't follow Aleeks or at least his brand very closely. It's just an aesthetic that never really kind of suited my tastes. But recently, over I would say maybe a year or so, uh, Nike and Matthew and Williams have been doing a bunch of collaborations. So we had that first collaboration with a bunch of clothing and the pants from that collection was really nice, but sold out pretty quickly. And then there was some other like green camo stuff that I wasn't too sure how I felt about those. And now there's this collaboration where he has finally brought out some footwear. And uh, well, we've got one of the pieces here today, so let's just get on with it. So without further ado, today we're here to talk about the Nike Free TR3 MMW in the sale colorway or white colorway. I'm not exactly sure. The colorways are always different on these boxes. So, with the intro out of the way, let's get into the box. So, just to kind of like put it out there, this box is actually rather huge, and you'll probably understand once you see the shoe itself. Uh, we've got this sort of standard Nike Lab black box, but it's different to other Nike Lab boxes. We've actually got the Nike logo MMW written on the sides. And if we open up the box, we are actually greeted with this really nice and I would honestly say pretty high quality gym bag. So it's not like the typical thin nylon material that's like single layered. This is actually a nice sort of fabric, almost neoprene material. And we've got MMW on the front and then on the back we've got some writing. And it says MMW Matthew M. Williams training series at 002. And then there's a bunch of letters that, and then numbers that I'm not going to read. And we've actually got a zip on the front of this bag, so you've actually got a second layer to it, so... Already pretty happy with the start of it, but when you get further into the box, it gets a little more interesting. So, we've actually got this first layer of paper that has the MMW and Nike logo, as well as this little phrase that says, We train with patience. Training is incremental improvements. It is a ritual of solidarity and self-discipline. Interesting sort of a little blurb about what it's like to train as an athlete, I guess. And then there's the standard wrapping paper on the second layer. And then the shoes were stuffed with standard packing paper in the front of it and cardboard in the neck of the shoe. And attached on, I think it was the right shoe, we actually have these extra set of laces. So we've got an extra set of white laces and an extra set of red laces. And you've probably noticed these laces are extremely narrow, and they really are. Um, they almost feel like fishing wire or something like that, I'm not too sure. Love the paper crinkling. But, with the stuff in the box out of the way, we'll read the label, and the label reads free TR3 slash MMW, and the colorway is actually ivory, so not quite bone or white or all that other stuff. So, the retail price on these. In Australia, these actually retailed for a price of 380 Australian dollars. Where I bought it from, I ended up paying shipping, so it ended up being around 393 Australian dollars. I'll put the conversion here. And uh, honestly, I feel very bad for a lot of my American viewers because uh, this shoe retailed for a whopping 325 US dollars before tax. So you guys were paying a good hundred dollars over what I was paying. So. Sorry about that, but honestly, for 380, the we'll get into it in a bit. So, with the box out of the way, let's get into the shoes. And here we are. Jeez, they're heavy. The Nike Free TR3 MMW in the ivory colorway. So you've probably noticed um, just how big this shoe actually looks, and the reason for that is actually that. The main feature of this particular shoe is that it's pretty much a souped up version of the Nike Free TR3, which is apparently a training shoe from Nike. I'll flash a photo of the regular version. 
So it's a modified version of that with a detachable Vibram or Vibram sole on the shoe itself. So you've probably noticed the straps on the top and the side and what this allows you to do is actually remove this whole sole unit from the shoe. So I'll actually just pull out the shoe without the sole unit on it currently. So this is what the shoe looks like without it. So it's really like this sort of regular free run. You've got those usual grooves on the bottom and those sort of rubber pods. And the sole itself is this really thickly traction sort of like hiking sole almost. And a lot of the weight is actually just held in this, this sole. Honestly, the sole weighs, I would almost say more than the shoe. I don't really know. I haven't actually weighed them. But on the sole itself, you've got some Vibram branding. So in some ways, it's almost like a three-way brand uh, collaboration. And then you've got MMW written on the top of the front strap. So that is the most interesting feature of this entire shoe. So that's what you get when you put everything together. So just to touch on some other things, you've got this sort of multi-layer upper, you've got like plastic overlays, this weird nylon, some leather in the back. And to get your foot into the shoe, you've actually got this side zipper that comes down. And it's one of those locking zippers that only zips down if it's facing up and locks in place when it's facing down. And then you've got these really thin uh, laces that apparently are inspired by like speed lacing on like track running shoes. I'm not exactly sure. And then we've got some uh, branding on the side with Matthew M. Williams, MMW 02, uh, I think that says TS 2019. I'm not exactly sure what that's supposed to be. So that pretty much covers the main sort of features of this shoe. It's just pretty much this free run with multi layers and a huge Vibram sole. Now, in terms of sizing, despite the fact that with the Vibram sole, this shoe fits huge, the free run underneath, I would say definitely fits true to size. It's a very, I would say narrow shoe. So it does squeeze my feet a little bit. So you may want to consider going half size up, but I also feel like the length was perfect. So half sizing up would be pretty long. So if you get the chance, try these on, but for my personal experience, I would say go true to size. So these are a nine and a half. I'm usually a nine and a half and they fit me pretty good. Now in terms of comfort, uh, without the Vibram sole on the shoe, it's actually quite a lightweight uh, free run uh, running shoe essentially. So free technology is not exactly the most cushiony thing. It's supposed to feel like barefoot training and it feels adequate on feet. It's flexible, but it doesn't really provide all that much cushioning, but it gives you a lot of ground feel. And the upper itself is not very restrictive, despite the fact it's got all these different layers and materials. It feels all right. It's pretty breathable, but nothing too special. However, I will say with the Vibram sole, um, the rubber is quite flexible, so it doesn't get in the way of uh, motion or anything like that. But the absolute downside of this uh, rubber outsole is actually that it increases the weight tremendously when you put it on. You really notice it on feet. I would almost, I would almost say it's kind of comparable to a pair of Tims, honestly, which is really bizarre because all the weight's actually on the bottom of the shoe and the top feels like nothing. So in terms of comfort, I would say without the Vibram sole, it's actually quite a nice light running shoe. With the Vibram sole, it's interesting. I'll put it that way. Now I get into the part of the video where I talk about my opinions on this shoe. Now, I'll be 100% honest, with this release, I didn't know when this shoe was releasing until the day before. And the more I looked into the design of the shoe and what it was offering, I actually fell more in love with the uh, design. Um, what sold me was the removable sole, honestly. I feel like that has been such an interesting uh, addition to the shoe. and. Uh, I'm sure you, m many people have probably been seeing on like Instagram or Facebook or wherever these places are that a lot of people have actually been taking this sole and throwing it on other shoes. I may flash some photos up, um, but the customizability that this sole actually provides has been really interesting to see online. Um, I've seen it on, I think, like Jordans, uh, Blazers, all, all, all manner of shoes, and it actually looks surprisingly good. 
And to be honest, I kind of really think that this is an interesting sort of step forward into what footwear can be. Um, I really love the futuristic design, the sort of customizability, and honestly, it really is something completely unique in my wardrobe. I will say it has a very striking resemblance to an old Adidas hike collaboration from a few years back, the See You Laters, I'll throw a photo up. But the See You Laters didn't have a removable sole, so I would say this honestly is the better version. I will say this though, the one downside of this entire shoe um, especially when you're wearing the Vibram sole. It's just how big the shoe actually looks. So you're probably noticing like while I'm holding it here, it looks rather large for a nine and a half. That's because honestly, this shoe looks about a size 12, size like 11 and a half when you're actually wearing it. So I'll flash a photo of like my bare foot next to this shoe, but you can clearly see this shoe adds a lot of bulk to it when you've got the sole on and it's pretty ridiculous. So I haven't had a chance to wear it just yet because it always seems to look really odd, but I love the shoe nonetheless and unless resale price goes up really high, I'm probably gonna end up keeping this for a while actually. And with that, we've come to the end of another video. So I'd love to hear what you guys think of the Nike Free TR uh, threes in the ivory colorway and out of the four release uh, four shoes that released in the pack What was your favorite? So for me? I actually was Originally gunning for the women's pair because that actually had a fly knit sock But then I saw photos on feet and the sock actually wasn't very tight It had the clear opening and I hate it when sock shoes don't clamp your feet So I've actually put this as my favorite I'd probably put the black fly knit version second, the ivory women's version in third, and then honestly the men's version with the red sole, ugh, that red sole ruined it to be honest. So that is fourth in my opinion. But I'd love to hear what you have to say. Like the video if you like the video, dislike the video if you dislike the video, and if you're more interested, if you're interested in more sneaker content, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. I'm always getting more like shoes every now and then, um, but the thing is, I don't hold on to most of them. They go in and then they come out. So, but I'll always be throwing out videos, and I would love to do more. Jeez, I'm really good at this, aren't I? And I'll catch you guys in another video. Dun 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 dun